Yeah. Hi, Vindeshra. So good afternoon. Hope you're doing good. So we have discussed uh, in the previous day about SAP FICO enterprise structure. Today we are going to discuss about the FICO global settings, right? So what are the points that are there in the FICO global uh, settings? So we can discuss. The first one is maintain physical year. So here you need to know the definition of the maintain fiscal year. Why we need to use the uh, uh, fiscal year, right? The default calendar system allows for a maximum amount of 16 periods for posting in each fiscal year, right? So those 16 periods that can be broken up into 12 regular periods and four, four special periods. Here, four special periods are used for the auditing and correction purposes only. Here, I will give you basic example. So suppose uh, I mean, in uh, in India, Indian companies follow 12 posting periods. That means April to March with four special periods. So we can create that variant as V3. Suppose in the foreign US companies or Canada companies or uh, London companies will follow 12 posting periods. That means January to December with four special periods. We can create that physical year variant as K4, right? Or else you can, yeah, I mean, create that physical year year variant uh, as on your name, all right? So some other companies will follow posting periods from uh, uh, July to June or October to September uh, with four special periods, right? So here you need to know one point only. That is, each period in physical year is called as posting period only. OK, so physical year variant should be assigned to the company quota. OK, so that is very important. Why? Because whenever you are posting those invoices, so that should take this year that should take this physical year variant. Why? Because so we will have the posting periods, right? So from April to March. So whatever the postings that you are making, or whatever postings that you are creating for the particular period. So it will come from this fiscal year variant. So that is very important here. So for this, uh, we will have the transaction code that is OB29. So when you click on this OB29, so we will have this uh, fiscal year variant. What you need to do is, yeah. So here, it can just uh, uh, take or oh, anything. So I am taking this one that is CS April to March. We will have number of posting periods. So two is there and number of periods. So four is there. You can just copy this option. OK, then in the physical FE option, you can just uh, uh, remove that one and give yes. C. OK, then click on the enter option. OK, here. The screen will show you like this. This object to be copied, right? So you can copy all these ones, right? Whatever the periods that are there in this uh, uh, CS, so that will be merged into your SE physical year variant. Okay, then just copy all. So number of dependent entries copied to well. Right? Why? Because to posting periods are there, right? So uh, those were copied. Right. You can just go to this option. Save option. Yes. So create request here. What we have created. So we have created fiscal year variant. So here creation of uh, fiscal year. Variant. Just go to the save option and save it. Yeah, so the entry was already saved. What you need to do, you can just click on this option and go to the PDF. So we have copied those periods from the, uh, what is that? CS fiscal year variant. What are those? So these are, we, we copied, right? So what is this? Month is one and day is 31 and period is 10 and the year shift is minus. Why the year shift is minus? Why? Because, so we have given April to March, right? So from April to December, that is one year, right? From the January to March, that is the another year. So that is why year shift is showing like this minus one. 
So the 12th period is March. 11th period is Feb. And 10th period is January, right? So here you can see the December period is 9th, that is 0. And the uh, November period is year shift is 0. For the 7th period, year shift is 0. So like that, it will come to the April only, right? So if you want to create the new entries, you can just click on this new, new entries option. You can create that one. Otherwise, it will not be required. Why? Because we have copied all the data. You can just go to the save option and save it. Data already saved. It. So this is about the fiscal year variant. So then next, what we need to do? So you, uh, you, we need to assign company code to the fiscal year variant. What is the transaction code? OB37. When you go to this transaction code, OB, go to the position here, give your company code. And my company code is this one. So here, whatever the fiscal year variant is there, you can just click on this one. So what we have created, CS is created, right? So then just create. Click on this CS option. So I'm not using this CS option. So already I have created this SO, right? So here, just to give this a SO of. So here, I have given the fiscal year variant as SR. You can just go save option, okay? Enter, enter. So here, what we have seen, that is assign company code to the physical year variant. To the, just enter and so the data was saved, right? So the description is April to March. Then next one is what here? Posting period variant. Second configuration is. What What do you mean by posting period variant? Right? Posting period variant is used to control which accounting period is open for posting. Okay? I'm repeating for you. So it is used to control which accounting period is open for posting. So this is an important control tool for every organization which has monthly closings. Okay, so for this, we will have one transaction code. What is the transaction code? OBB. Oh. Sorry, what is the transaction OBB? Click on this one. So here the screen will appear like this. So you can just go to the new entries option here. Uh, whatever you want to create for the posting period variant, you can just create. Yes, so that is sorry, is the posting period variant. You can just uh, uh, give this option. Uh, what is it? So create a posting period variant uh, for Sara. All right. So you can just go to the uh, save option and save it. Yeah. Hmm. So here we have created posting period variant. That is what Sara is the posting period variant. Posting period variant for the Sara, right? Yeah, we have already created. Then just to go back. Then what we need to do the next is um, you can just assign this posting period variant to company code. So we will have the transaction code OB. BP is the transaction code is there. And go to the position. What is your company code? Sarah is your company code. And here variant. What is the variant that we have given? Right, posting period variant. That is Sarah. Okay. Yeah. So Sarah is there. Then just go to the save option. Uh, what is this one? Assign posting period variant to company code. Assign posting period variant to company code. So this is the short description. Okay, then just go to the description and save it. Then what is the next configuration? Create variance for opening and closing posting period. So I mean, uh, why we need to uh, create 
a variance for the opening and closing. Why? Because so you can create posting periods in your physical year variant. You can open and close this uh, posting periods for posting as many periods as you require. So that can be open for posting simultaneously. So for this, you need to uh, go to the transaction code OB52. So here, I can just go to the new entries. Here, give your variant. What is the variant? Sara is my variant, posting period variant, right? So then next, uh, here, when you go to this account type, you can just drill down that option. So here, the screen will appear like this. If you want to post, uh, uh, I mean, uh, particular asset, or if you want to post that invoice to the particular asset or particular customer, particular vendors, uh, particular materials, particular GL accounts like this. So you can just take out that option. Otherwise, if you are posting all these uh, invoices for the uh, those account types, you can just give this button, uh, option. So that is plus option, right? So if you want, uh, if you want to mention particular uh, period for this uh, particular account, you can just give this from account to to account. So here I am giving what is the period that is one, all right? And just what is the year 2022? Then next, what is the period uh, that is 12 period? So here give the 2025 year to the year, right? Now then next, what is the second period that is 13, right? So then next to give 2022 and here two period is 16. Why? Because we have a four special periods, right? So we have uh, created the uh, four special periods uh, in uh, major fiscal year variant. So that is why I'm giving here. So then next one is what is that year, right? So you can just go to the save option and here. What is this one? So variance for opening and closing posting periods. Variance of opening and closing closing uh, posting period for Sara, right? Sara company code that we have given. You can just go to the save option and save it. So the data was saved. You can see variant is Sara and the account type is list. That means uh, this uh, option is valid for all the account types. You can just give the posting period, uh, I mean, that period from where it was uh, started. Uh, that is um, April, right? To the 12, that is March, right? So here we will have four special uh, periods, 13 to 16. Why? Because so now we will use these periods for auditing and also correction purposes. Then just to go back, then what we need to create here field status variant all right what do you mean by field status variant field status variant is used to define the fields which are used for input like cost centers profit centers and plant etc i mean which are entry fields and also hidden fields so field status variant is a tool which is provided by SAP to assign the same set of properties to more than one object. OK, so this is very important. So for this, uh, what we need to do is we will have some options like suppress, optional, require and display. So suppose I mean later we will come to know the cost centers, profit centers, uh, uh, business areas and all. So here, if you want to uh, suppress that cost centers, you can just go to this field uh, status, right? What is it? Field status variant. So for this, we will have one transaction code that is OBC4. So here, we will have the field status variant. Oh, what is the field status variant? You can just go to the position option or else uh, if you want to find out that field status variant that you have created, just go to the position option. Otherwise, if you uh, didn't create that one, then just go to the uh, create option here. New entries will be there, right? Then just go to the create option. So what is a physical year variant? That is not a physical year variant. That is a field status variant. What is that field status variant? So field 
status variant um sara okay yes then just go to the uh, this option then here i am giving short description as field status variant field status variant for sara then just go to the save option and save it. The data was already set. OK, then click on this one and go to the field status group. If you have if you want to mention the field status group, you can just mention. Otherwise it will not require. So I will uh, here field status variant will have field status groups. This this group, right? So that is field status group is maintained in GL account. OK. And it defines the fields while posting to the GL. If you want, we can. So this is a demo server, right? And we don't need to create this one field status group. So I'm giving just this, uh, I mean, basic overview of the field status group. Once again, I'm explaining this field status group is maintained in GL account and it defines the fields while posting to the GL, right? So this is about the uh, field status variant. Okay. Um, here, then just to go back, we have created here in the position option. You can see. Yeah, so we have created a field status variant, All right? Then just to go back to this option and what we need to do. So we need to do assign company code to the field status variant. What is the transaction code that here? OBC5 is a transaction code. You can just go to the position option, whatever we have created uh, that field status variant for the company code that we need to assign. So what is that? Sarah is uh, this one. Yeah, so uh, what is your field status variant that you have created? You can just find out here. What is that? Sarah is a field status variant. Yes, right. here, give this one and go to the save option and save it. Then here, create request. What is the, the create request that is? Short description is assign. Assign a uh, field. It is variant to the company code. So then just go to the save option and save it. So this is the thing that we um, that we did, right? Then just go to the uh, back option here. What we need to do is. We need to check whatever we have created. So I mean in the global settings, go to the OB Y6 option. OK, so give your position, give your company code. OK, yeah. Then double click on this. Yes, so field status variant that we have created that is sara right posting period variant also that we have created that is sara when you drop down uh, when you uh, click on this drop down option you can find it out right what is that one sara right so here we have created so these are the uh, i mean part one global settings right so i mean uh, uh, tomorrow classes we will create whatever the remaining uh, configurations that are there in the global settings. Yes, so until take care and bye.